Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. The study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 73. Please turn to it. Page number 73 and today's are lesson number 21. On page 73 we see two problems dealing with the concept of reconciliation of an account. Either checking account or a saving account. We have to reconcile everything. The debits and credits at the end of this month when we get the statement. So here is the first problem, problem number one. We are told that the beginning balance, we are told that the beginning balance is $1123.42. As always we take care of the debits and credits separately. Let's first take care of the debits. The checks that we wrote, and we are told that uh, we wrote uh, follow, checks in the following amount, $247.16. $72.50, make sure your digits line up properly, that's the key to not making careless error, make sure your digits line up, and if they don't, if you end up putting something inadvertently in the wrong place, take a second to erase it and redo it, $64, that's it. Now listen, as, you, as we know, this is a multiple choice question, we don't have to be very precise, as long as you have a decent approximation, we should not have too much trouble figuring out the right answer. So we're going to approximate, we're not going to waste our time writing out the precise amount. This is uh, 247.16, I'm going to be going to ignore the 16, 72, 50, 50 is right on the borderline, if it's more than 50 I usually round up, I'm going to ignore it. And here we have 80 cents, let's make that into 44. 43. 4380, we're going to pretend it is 44. That's it. Let's add it up. 7 plus 2 is 9, and 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 plus 4 will be 22. 2, carry 2. 6 plus 4 is 10, 7 plus 4, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 10 is 24, 24 plus 4 is 28, 28 plus 2 would be 30. 0, carry 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11. So it looks, looks like we have written checks in the total, of, uh, checks in the amount of $1,102 in total. Now let's take care of the other parts. When we talk about the credits, always remember to start out with the, with the beginning balance, beginning balance, We are told it's 11.23.42, I'm going to ignore the 42 cents, let's just say 11.23, 11.23, and then we have a credit, one deposit we are told, we made one deposit in the amount of 420. That's it, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 1,543, and then we just subtract from it all the checks that we wrote, which is this part right here, total debits. 11. Or two, which is the total debits. That's it. We're done. Whatever that answer happens to be is the answer. That's your ending balance at the end of the month, or that, or I should say, that should be the ending balance at the end of the month, assuming that you do not balance the, assuming that you do not balance the checkbook the way I do, which has been commented on several occasions as the greatest work of fiction since the Dickens guys wrote the story about the two cities. 3 minus 2 is 1. That's 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. And that's just, you know, that's it. Looks like you're going to have $441 in your account at the end of the month. That was problem number 1. Let's move on to the number, number 2. A 
As I always remind you, these problems are not difficult. These are pretty straightforward, simple problems involving elementary arithmetic. The reason why you're going to get it wrong is because you are trying to save a couple of seconds in a silly way. As I always tell you, there are smart way of saving time and there are not so smart way of saving time. But I made a mistake here. I took my time. I raised it. I roared it so that they line up. That's not, that's not, that would not have been a smart way to save time by not erasing it and saying I'll just remember it. No. Just keep your work clean. Keep your work clean. The rest is very straightforward, very simple. Number two. Problem number two. Again, we have an initial balance of 9369. Well, actually, what it is is 9369, 23 cents, which we can ignore 23 cents. Then we made deposit, deposit number one. Looks like we have made two deposits in the account, we are told 156.65. 156.65. Since it's 65, since it's more than 50, I'm going to round it up to 157. Second deposit we made, we are told, was in the amount of $1,316 exactly. $1,316 exactly. And that's all, that's all we have in deposits. So those are our total credits. Total credits. Let's find out. 9 plus 7 is 16, 16 plus, let me do the other way around, 6 plus 7 is 13, 6 plus 7 is 13, 13 plus 10 would have been 23, so that's 22, 2, 32, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 4, carry 1, always write down what you're carrying, don't try to remember in your mind, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, and that's 10. Looks like you have a total credits of $10,842. Let's take care of the withdrawals now, the debits, right here. Withdrawals or the debits. We have first withdrawal, we are told, is 3500 even. Then we have 695 and 75. They are all even numbers. 695 and 75. They are, what, I meant, what I meant by even number is that they are all now nice round numbers. There are no cents. So 5 plus 5 is 10. That's 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 7 is 17. 7. Carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 2. Carry 1. And that's a 4. Notice. I, I put down carry one there, even though it's a very simple thing. I wasn't going to forget it. 3 plus 1 is 4. I wasn't going to forget it, but I don't want to take a chance. I don't want to take an unnecessary risk. Why should I take a risk? Unnecessary risk. 4270. Risk of forgetting, that is. 4270. If I write it down right away, then I know I'm not going to forget it. It's right there. Total debits. And therefore, whatever the difference is, is that's what you're going to end up with. Did I forget anything? Did I forget anything or is that it? Are those the total debits? I did forget something, didn't I? What I forgot was the service charge, service charge in the amount of $10. Service charge in the amount of $10. These are the withdrawals, but since we also have a heading of debits, we have to include the $10. So I should not have put down withdrawals there because these are not just withdrawals, we also have a $10 service charge. So it is 80. It is 42.80, not 42.70. We have to take care of the $10. And don't take care of the $10 separately. At the end, it belongs here along the debits. So that's it. Now we're done. Whatever the difference happens to be is the amount that we will have, as I said, at the end of the, at the, end of the month. So let's do it here. 2 minus 0 is just 2. 14 minus 8, so that's going to become 7. 14 minus 8 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 9, this is going to become 9, 9 minus 5, 4 is 5. Looks like we're going to have 5,500, 5, well that's 7, we did not borrow anything here, that's 7 minus 2 is 5, and that just remains 10. That just remains 10, you see? 
this is how easy it is this is how easy it is to make mistakes I was almost towards the end and I had to make a boo boo at the very end but if nothing else at least we can see at least you can see here where the potential lies in making an error in making an error just go slowly take your time I'll see you tomorrow okay in other words don't don't do it the way I do it okay now watch this video and learn how not to take the exam as I always tell you I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.